Shopify powers millions of e-commerce stores. If you want to blow that competition out of the water, then you're going to need to know some Shopify insider tips. And lucky for you, I'm going to give them to you. I'm Bridget O'Rourke, and I have jam-packed this video with sneaky things that I bet you didn't know you could do with your Shopify store. Until now, let's dive in. Did you know that you can have a thriving Shopify store with just one product? Yeah, you heard me correctly. When you have a lot of products in your store, it can get a bit overwhelming to know what to focus on. With a one product Shopify store, you can focus all of your energy on perfecting and marketing that single product. Take a look here at State of a Kind. So this is a single product skincare brand. And as you can see here, it's do more with less philosophy is demonstrated through the look and the feel of the website. It has a clean, minimal, and simple site design using just the right amount of text and visuals to avoid being overwhelming. So let's break down what they're doing and how you can mimic it on your Shopify store. First, make sure that your hero image really pops, like showing off clear glowing skin. This should be the main attraction. Use a few high quality images to keep the spotlight on your product's benefits. You wanna keep your text clear and compelling and link to your product page for more details. Your site should be easy to navigate with all of the essential info. Like you see here, they have their philosophy and their frequently asked questions easy to find. And so many people browse on mobile, so mobile optimization is a must. Your site should look amazing on any device. With every Shopify theme comes a mobile optimized version. We'll talk more about themes soon. I also really like that they have testimonials here right on the homepage. This builds immediate trust with the consumer. These strategies that you see here on State of a Kind are essential to know if you wanna build a compelling and successful one product Shopify store. And of course, if your product is super successful, you can always expand your offerings later. Let's take a look at BlendJet. They started off as a single product Shopify store for their portable blender, but after seeing massive success, they expanded their offerings to things like smoothies and accessories. However, the main focus of their store is still their hero product. So consider starting out with a one product store and expand as your business grows. But how do you launch and create your own product? Here are five pieces of advice for getting started. How can you actually figure out if your product will sell? You want to identify a problem that needs solving, like dry shampoo sunscreen that prevents sunburns on your hairline. Does that exist? If it doesn't, someone take it. You're welcome to the idea. Did you know that crowdfunding is a great way to validate your new product idea? It's true. The company Unbound Merino tested demand with an Indiegogo campaign, which raised a ton of funds that proved that people were interested in the product. For more of a walkthrough on how CEO Dan Dembski raised over 1.2 million through crowdfunding, I will link a video for you to watch next in the description. Try starting with a narrow focus to target a specific audience. This is called niche marketing. Instead of appealing to everyone, concentrate on a specific group perfect for your product. This helps you stand out, attract the right customers, and boost sales. Once you've reeled in your target audience, you can expand your offerings. One of the best ways to reach an audience is authenticity. So you wanna use personal stories to connect with your audience. Tell them how this product has changed your life with relatable anecdotes. But what is the true power behind selling a product? Having a strong online presence. A great way to do this is to create high quality videos that provide value and show the benefit your product can give to the viewer. This could be product demonstrations, testimonials, live Q and A's, video podcast episodes, or educational YouTube videos. Like this one, you're actually watching content marketing right now. This is Learn with Shopify, an official Shopify powered YouTube channel where we teach you literally everything you need to know to take your business from just an idea to an actual powerhouse of sales. You'll also notice that in every video, we tell you how great of a product Shopify is for getting your websites up and running quickly. We're providing additional value to you while telling you about our amazing product and how it can help you. By the way, if you like this type of content, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We release new videos every week. Now, if you're thinking oh, that's a lot of work, then you can try drop shipping. This allows you to sell already created products without holding inventory. Yeah, you can create a one product or multi-product Shopify store with products that other people have created, but it is on you to make sure that that product is in high demand and is actually going to sell. 
But how do you find products that are actually going to be the next big thing? We're busy. We don't have all the time in the world to research products. We don't want to open up Instagram and open up TikTok and manually scroll through ads to find which are performing the best. What you want is a software that's going to streamline this process. But you don't want a software that's going to feed you the same information as everyone else. Or else you're going to end up in an oversaturated market. I'm going to tell you about two websites that are going to ensure that you pick products that will keep you ahead of the game. Number one, Trend Hunter. This is a website designed to help you keep up with trends. Let's say you want to do something in the fashion industry. Head to Fashion, Consumer Insights, and now there is a whole page telling you what's trending in the fashion industry. So you would start by finding the type of product you want to sell based on the trends and then find your manufacturer. Number two, Mynea. Mynea is going to let you filter through ads on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram to see the ads that are actually trending. Viral ads often have a high number of likes, shares, comments, and overall interactions. This shows that people are actually interested in the content and the product and want to show it to other people. The best part about researching like this? You're not just finding potential viral products, you're also spotting successful ad styles. So take those winning ad ideas, tweak them, and you've got a shot at going viral yourself. If you want a ton more information on dropshipping, like how to do it, deeper insights into how to find products and your manufacturer, I'm going to link a dropshipping playlist in the description of this video. Okay, so you have your product, whether it's your own or a dropshipping product, you need to make sure that your Shopify product page converts that viewer into a buyer. Here are six things that you need to consider when setting up Shopify product pages. Number one, choose your Shopify theme. You don't need to be a website designer to design an amazing product page. Shopify has got you covered with tons of themes that can be customized to your liking. Your Shopify theme determines essential parts of your e-commerce store like navigation, layout, aesthetics, and more. It also determines the experience that your customers will have as they navigate your store, consume your content, and search for products. If the experience is positive, they're likely to keep coming back. A negative experience, on the other hand, can lead to high bounce rates. Some of my favorite themes are Refresh, Craft, Sense, and Dawn. These are all Shopify created themes. The benefit of going with a Shopify theme over a third party theme is that Shopify carefully screens all themes that are submitted. So you can be sure that you're getting a quality secure theme that includes regular updates and support as well. Number two, website speed. One of the biggest causes of bounce rates on Shopify product pages is a slow load speed. So it's important to know that high quality images can actually slow down your site and that's a no-go. So you're going to want to compress your images to improve site speed. Just Google free online image compressor. I'm going to link a Shopify blog post in the description that's going to walk you through the optimal image sizes for your Shopify store that will strike a balance between image quality and page load speed. You can also use a Shopify add-on like Tiny Image. This is going to help you compress your images directly on Shopify to the optimal size to increase page speed. Number three, add a wishlist app. Want to keep your customers hooked? Add a wishlist feature. Something like this app, Wishlist Plus, lets customers save their favorite items for later, boosting sales and reducing the amount of people who abandon their cart. It's easy to install, it works seamlessly with your theme, and it also sends email alerts for low stock, restocks, and price drops to try to re-engage past customers. Number four, use add-ons. I've already given you a couple of examples, but here are three more that are going to help you maximize your Shopify landing page for conversions. You know when you're browsing a store online and you get a little notification that says, Katie from Ohio just purchased XYZ. Social Proof app by FOMO will do this for you to provide a sense of urgency to your purchasers. Now, imagine every store was like Aritzia. Fashion gurus right at the door, ready to help you find exactly what you're looking for. What about having that on your online store? LimeSpot Personalizer is an add-on that's going to give real-time product recommendations to your customers based on their behavior. Now, my favorite thing is when a website has the shop add-on on their site. It makes checkout too easy, like too easy. The ease of use is going to allow customers not to have the time to think twice before purchasing, therefore increasing conversions. If you wanna know more about the best Shopify apps, I will link a video in the description below. Number five, Keep it simple, stupid. Don't overload your landing page with multiple calls to action. Focus on one main CTA to drive conversions. 
Simplifying your offer can reduce confusion and increase the likelihood of a viewer taking action. Number six, set up your page for search engine optimization like a pro. Here are some sneaky SEO tips. A high converting Shopify store starts with an intuitive site structure that guides shoppers along the path to purchase. For many stores, the perfect structure looks like this. Homepage, category pages, product pages. If you have a broader range of products, add nested products. Homepage, category pages, subcategory pages, product pages. This gives more real estate to optimize for search. While it may not be the sexiest element of e-commerce marketing, optimizing your metadata helps your products show up in relevant search results. When I say metadata, it sounds scary, it's not. I'm mostly talking about page titles and descriptions. This is what shows up when you search stores on search engines like Google and Bing. You wanna make sure that you incorporate the page's main target keyword. So for this hot sauce store, I wanna make sure that hot sauce is in the page title. And I want to make sure that the description includes a call to action that prompts searchers to click through. Here are the steps to edit metadata on Shopify. Log into your Shopify admin, navigate to online store, preferences. Here you can edit the metadata for your homepage. Then you want to repeat this process on your most important pages. So go to online store, pages, and click edit website SEO. Within one page, you want to link to other related products or blog posts within your store. This is called internal links. These help search engines understand the structure of your site and the relationship between different pages. So for example, within Shopify blog posts, they link to other related blog posts throughout. This helps search engines crawl the content easier and understand the structure of the site. Did you know that creating blog posts and other valuable content for the potential buyer can actually improve your search rankings? So this can be content that answers your customers' questions and provides additional value, like blog posts, guides, and videos, like this one, that help improve your search rankings and build your brand. Speaking of content marketing, this is one of the best ways to actually get people to go to your store. You have your product, you have your store, and now you need to drive traffic to it. By the way, you can create your website for free on Shopify and get a feel for things and try out the tips that I'm giving in this video. I will link a free trial below and a video to help you get started. You know when you see your favorite influencer and a small pop-up appears from her post, you click it and Instagram redirects you to the website where you can purchase that exact same product? That brand has their website connected to their social media accounts and that makes it possible for them and other creators to tag their products in their social media posts. Did you know that you can connect your Shopify products directly to your content on places like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok and allow other creators to tag your products as well. Nobody wants to see that link in bio call to action anymore. People want the links and they want them now. Let's go through how to do this on YouTube. You need to make sure that you meet the criteria to tag products on YouTube. You will need to be part of the YouTube Partner Program. Your channel must have more than 10,000 subscribers. You must be based in the United States, in Korea. Your channel cannot be a music channel, an official artist channel, or associated with any music partners. Your channel audience isn't set as made for kids, and your channel doesn't have a significant number of videos set as made for kids. If you meet all the criteria, here's how to set up product tagging on YouTube. Use a computer to sign into YouTube Studio. In the left menu, select Earn. Click the Shopping tab. You'll only see this if your channel is eligible. Click Get Started if you haven't already connected YouTube with a shopping retailer or platform. Otherwise, click Connect New Store on the product card. Now you can tag products featured in your content. When you tag these products, a view products label will show up in the corner of your content. Viewers can select the label to review a list of the products that you tagged, even while they're still watching your video. So make sure to tag your products in YouTube shorts, live streams, and your long form YouTube videos. If you wanna learn more about this idea of linking your Shopify store to your YouTube channel, Michelle has a great video walking you through it, which I will link in the description. If you wanna learn more about tagging your products on Instagram, Rachel has got you covered and I will link her video down below as well. If you wanna learn more about tagging your products on TikTok, Charisma is your girl and her video is linked as well. So you now know how to take your Shopify store from the basics and blow your competition out of the water. 
Honestly, there are so many tools out there to help you get a business up and running that you actually care about and that you're actually excited about. You don't need a boss anymore. Being your own boss is the new thing. But the hub of creating a business online or offline all comes down to your website. So check out that free Shopify trial that I'm giving you in the description. Thanks for hanging out with me. It has been an absolute pleasure to share these insider tricks with you. I can't wait to see how you implement them and blow up your business. Again, my name is Bridget O'Rourke. I am a content creator and strategist, and I'll catch you next time.